All right, everybody, what's going on, man? Hope you're having a good one, and welcome back to another Redwood map gameplay. This time using the Weevil Knievel, using stock and grip. And I killed these two guys here easily because of stock as an attachment. And I noticed when I first picked up my submachine gun, I didn't have, like, I didn't see my attachments. I actually have them, but I didn't see them. And I asked Thunder about it because I'm playing with him here. Shout out to him, by the way. Um,. Hey, man, like, where's my attachments? Is, is there a bug? Or, like, he, he told me that there was a bug. I, I first thought it was a game mode, then, like a different game mode or something like that for the weekend. Like, I don't know. I'm rusty. I haven't, you know, been in the community for so long. But, um, anyways, my attachments are there. I'm back here killing, um, I would love to say casuals or noobs but it's not the case man there is so many sweats unbelievable like we played this past weekend and told uh, thunder told me about these sweats it's crazy everybody was using shotguns and uh by the way look at how i clutch this guy here he thinks i'm coming up by the steps but uh, -uh. clutch him from the window here right here there you go uh but speaking of shotguns for my next video probably it smells like i'm gonna upload another red wood map using a shotgun where i get like over 60 kills man i went ham it's unbelievable man unbelievable soldier you still got it you still got it you still got it damn right i still got it as a player not bad at all man i'm actually surprised but uh anyways man i want to say uh I, uh, I want to say also that uh, I want to thanks a lot uh, you guys for the support on my previous video because I was really not expecting almost 300 likes I didn't I actually didn't really have any high high expectations uh, but man almost 300 likes I was like man is that enough motivation for you soldier plus you know thunder keeps like tapping me on the back recently and I, you know, I want to say publicly that, and I've said it in the past, but still today I want to say thank you, uh, Thunder Man. You know, uh, you always stood up for me, and you still are here. Uh, you know, try to motivate me and give me a tap, and uh, you know, the support has always been there, and that's I can't complain about that. You always been good to me, so uh, I want to say thank you, and for all of you guys, if you guys are fans of him, you all know, man, Thunder has always been down to earth always been real to everybody and um it's good to have good people around here in this community you know um anyways so for that thank you and thank you guys for the support i appreciate it now what else i want to i want to talk about um you know i played on other maps because I played a couple hours actually this past weekend, even though, you know, there was a lot of sweats. You know, Thunder told me all about these sweats. And is it sweats the new word of tryhards? Because I remember back in the days we used to say tryhards. Uh, and there was always a few of them. Now it seems like it's only tryhards everywhere. A couple campers, but so many tryhards. And like, I, I noticed that when I play against some people, sometimes like they jumping in the air crazy like is everybody using scuff controllers or something like that now because i never use a scuff controller in my life scuff controller never give me a, a controller i never spent money for one maybe i should you know one of these days use one but i don't know man since world war ii is coming out what is the scuff, a scuff controller gonna be good for mm, drop shot is drop shot gonna be uh, a big thing on the next game I don't know and uh, that's something I actually wanted to ask you guys is what do you guys actually think about World War 2 let me know in the comments because I saw you comments guys on my recent video where you know a lot of you guys were shocked you know welcome back soldier oh my god oh is this real is this a fake video it's soldier come on in <laughs> but uh I actually wanted to ask you guys and oh here comes my rate deployed um, what do you guys actually think about World War II? Do you guys think it's going to kick off for real this time? Because I remember, I think it was, what, two or three years ago. I remember saying, uh, you know, like, telling Thunder, dude, this COD ghost is the last one of his kind for a while. Because 
when I knew about the trailer for, you know, for, I think it's Infinite Warfare, when I saw these dudes, you know, like jumping, I was like, oh my God, like, you know, COD is going into a really different direction and it really did. And I think, um, out of the three, uh, Infinite Warfare, Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3, you know, let's just say, I'm not a big fan. If you remember, I'm not a big fan from futuristic, futuristic games, but uh, Black Ops 3 had it. Let's face it. Like, I'm, I'm playing this game, and I played a couple hours this past weekend, and I still had fun, even though there was a lot of sweats, you know? Um, but Black Ops 3 at least was decent. You know, I like the, the specialist abilities, that kind of stuff. But let's face it. Is World War 2 going to be a good game? And you're going to have to be, you know, sort of prepared to a slow game I, like i haven't really watched much footage of it you know on the multiplayer but it can't be as fast as black ops 3 that's for sure like it's boots on the ground right i don't know man you guys let me know your thoughts world war 2 is it gonna be good fast slow is it gonna kick the cod franchise you know is, is it gonna come back again and oh look at thunder Picking up the final kill. Come on in. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I got for you guys here today. Thank you so much. I'll see you on the next one. Probably another red wood map using the shoddy. Be ready. It's going to be a monster gameplay. Anyways, I'm Soldier. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed, like the video. Until next time, I'm out. Peace. Lost people.